Hello, I'm Geordie Barrett, and this week we're bringing your week in tech from Mendeley's office in Finsbury Square. Joining me now is the co-founder, Jan. Jan, tell us a little bit more about Mendeley and your recent expansion. Mendeley is a research collaboration platform uh, for about 4 million scientists and researchers and PhD students around the world. And maybe, uh, as you know, we got acquired by Reed Elsevier in 2013. Uh, and at that point in time, we were about 50 people maybe, and uh, we've now grown to almost 200 staff. And as you can see, we've moved into a beautiful new office. And we host the Mendeley Open Day here in this office, where we invite uh, Mendeley users, Mendeley advisors, uh, to come to our office uh, at the 6th of November here in Finsbury Square on the third floor. It's been a big week for funding, as AngelList is set to power the world's largest seed fund with $400 million from a Chinese private equity firm. The London and Geneva-based Highland Europe has unveiled a new 332 million euro scale-up fund, with rounds expected to range from 10 million to 30 million euros per deal. Innovate UK opens their applications for £140,000 contest to find smart solutions to some of London's biggest problems. And London Santander InnoVentures has joined the $135 million Series E round in Atlanta's small business lending platform Cabbage. The company uses sources like eBay and PayPal data rather than traditional credit checks to give fast decisions on small business lending. This week, the tech industry celebrated Ada Lovelace Day in honour of the first computer programmer. And Sarah Wood of Unruly was named the Mayor's latest tech ambassador for London, joining Tech London advocates Russ Shaw, Tech City UK's Gerard Breck and Decoded's Catherine Parsons. American computer company Dell is buying digital storage giant EMC for $67 billion in the largest tech acquisition in history and a move that marks another transformation for the prominent maker of PCs. Dell is the third largest computer vendor in the world behind HP and Lenovo. While people may be less aware of EMC, it's a company with a large legacy business in packaging, selling and making software for computer storage systems. Our download of the week is Vibe. The Vibe Tickets app allows real fans to exchange tickets at real prices. It puts you in touch with fans who are keen to sell their tickets at face value right up to the time of the event and lets you share your tickets with its community to get your money back. Beating the touts one step at a time. And finally, before your Back to the Future dreams are about to come true, the law might just get in the way. The hoverboard, or self-balancing scooters, are too unsafe to ride on the road, but also too dangerous to ride on the pavement due to legislation. As a result, they're only legal to use on private land according to the CPS. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.